friends who have no idea that this is just phase one of an entire day designed to test their limits. If anyone folds, they will be exiled to swim with the fishes in shark infested waters. Don't do it! Holy shit! We arrived for our first challenge of the day. There was one question on everyone's mind. Was this safe? We're finding out more about a deadly plane crash today in Oceanside. Absolutely not. Phase one, jump out of the airplane. We are all seven going to be jumping out. You're gonna be a falling piece of space junk here in about 30 minutes, bro. How do you feel about it? We signed away basically everything. If we die, we die. We can't sue. As the perfect initiation and test for the boys, I wanted to see could they power through and control their mind or could I get them to fold before the day even began? As that airplane door opened, it was real. I could tell the boys were nervous. So I looked back and said, let's go boys. There's nothing like being a falling piece of space junk to put life in perspective. Looking out over the ocean, it was absolutely majestic. As that parachute went up, I had this moment of absolute euphoria and peace. As we landed safely, wrapping up phase one, a key concept emerged. No amount of anxiety has ever changed what actually ends up happening. The best experience I've had, most exciting thing I've ever done. Andrew is throwing up right now. <laughs> While phase one was all about finding the will to act in spite of anxiety and fear, this next phase is going to challenge every single one of them to their absolute limit. We've got 10 bags of ice. Yeah, that's some ice right there. In order to successfully pass this phase, the mark to hit was five minutes fully submerged in the ice. I kicked things off to show the boys by anchoring in on the breath, breathing in deeply and slowly. It is possible to remain centered in the ice. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good. But I had a feeling that as soon as they felt that initial shock, I could get more than just a few of them to fold. Hell yeah. There we go, breathe. Second I got in, immediate shock. How does this compare with jumping out of a plane? This is worse. Down. Down. Feels like there's a bunch of needles getting poked into my back yeah. right now. Come on. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Breathe. Get in the water. Your panic attack. My heart's breaking. You got this. You just need to breathe. What do I do? Shock, fear. There we go. Gabe coached me through it, and I was able to adjust. Wussies. Oh. Words cannot express how I felt. Yeah. I power. It was great. With phase two complete, taking down two more boys with it, tension started to rise. Nobody wanted to be the one to actually swim in shark infested waters, especially in light of what happened last night. Breaking news as a woman in the North County was bitten today by a shark. A stretch of beach in Del Mar will be closed after a swimmer was attacked. Do not enter the water. We were getting close to the end of the challenge. The boys were starting to get cold feet about swimming swimming with the sharks, I thought why not give them one last chance to save themselves from a night swim with the sharks. 1v1 lightsaber duel, winner takes all. If anyone can beat me, I will take the entire punishment for them. I was taking down the boys left and right. My plan was working. Looks like the boys are going to be taking a midnight swim after all. <laughs> There was just one to go and I basically got this. Just when I thought I had it in the bag, I slipped and I ended up taking the loss. And I gotta go face the black waters all by myself. Who knew that fighting for shark immunity would be such good motivation? Now you might think I let them off easy, but the whole point of this challenge was to show them that no matter what you're facing in life, by learning to control your mind and not outside events, you can find the strength to overcome anything. Let's go! Guys, crazy. As soon as I got in the water, my mind started to race. 
Was this a good idea? Probably not. I couldn't stop thinking about the news footage. Great whites were close to shore because of seal mating season. And I was out there at night. I couldn't see anything. All the movie footage of Jaws, the Meg, flashed before my eyes. On my left, I thought I saw a black object. It was a 600 pound seal. I was about to charge him. I scrambled, barely stumbled out, and I lived to see another day. Smash like, smash subscribe. See you guys next time.